Okay, here's a video showing the the Wi-Fi issues that I'm experiencing with the RK3066. This is after a, a fresh reboot. I'm plugging in, plugging in the device. If I go to Wi-Fi settings, you can see that an the Android system is forcing Wi-Fi off. And now if I turn it on, even though it says that it's enabling it, it never actually turns on. Oh, and you see, already the, the Android system has forced it off. So it seems like there's a hardware issue with, um, with either with communication with the Wi-Fi device. I don't know if it's separate from the SOC or if it's built in, but I can sit here and continuously try to force this. Oops, I can continuously try to force it on, but it will not come on. And see, so half the time this toggle button, I'm clicking clicking the the mouse button. Oh, here we go. A lot of times that toggle button is disabled, which also seems to indicate that the Android system is unable to communicate with the Wi-Fi device. Now I've tried different combinations disabling these features, Ethernet and Bluetooth. That doesn't seem to make any difference. As you can see, even though this is marked on, nothing occurs. And if I go back out of it, go back, if I step out of the settings and then go back in, you can see that it will have marked it disabled or off when I come back in. No, it's actually still set as on, but nothing's happening. And I'm clicking the mouse button to try to toggle it. I can't even toggle it anymore. So basically at this point, what I've tried doing is just doing a uh, factory reset. So far I haven't had any success with this, but I go ahead and have it erase storage and reset the device. This obviously will take a couple seconds. But just for completeness and posterity's sake, I just went ahead and made, included this in this uh, short video. So here we go with a nice fresh factory reset reboot. And I have noticed that if I leave the device unplugged, for about 10 minutes. Sometimes that will allow the Wi-Fi to actually initially be recognized by the Android system, even though I still can't enable it. So part of me thinks or thought that it may be heat related. But, but at this point I have not tried opening the device or taking it apart. So we've got a factory data reset, we'll go into system settings again. And you can see here are the default settings. Wi-Fi is turned off, Ethernet is on. I'll try toggling Wi-Fi on and see if I see my Wi-Fi hotspot. So far nothing. No system tray indicator indicating that Wi-Fi is enabled. And the Android system has already forced the toggle switch back to the off position. Try to force it on again. Set it for a second, then go back in to see 
Sometimes, like I said, the UI doesn't seem to necessarily reflect the UI, the Wi-Fi state a lot of times. And you can see it's already marked it as off again automatically. Clicking the mouse button to try to force it on. I can't force it on. Even with the checkbox. Give it just a moment. You can see after leaving the settings screen and then coming back in, the checkbox is disabled or marked as is indicating the Wi-Fi is disabled. So there you have it. This, you know, yesterday when I first received the device, Wi-Fi was working fine. I was able to log into the Google Play Store, download apps. I was able to copy stuff off of SMB shares and all that sort of stuff that you would, you know, typically be able to do with Wi-Fi. But at this point. You know, the Wi-Fi, just after a day, has completely stopped working. And uh, just for posterity's sake, just to show you how I have my device set up. Really, the only thing that I have connected to it is I have... Logitech USB receiver, unifying receiver. That's so I was basically using a Logitech K700 keyboard with trackpad. The only thing that's connected to it right now, and uh, HDMI is going to my monitor over here. Uh, right now, I'm using a 2 amp uh, power inverter uh, that came with my Nexus 7, but I also have tried. An H HTC one amp power uh, inverter as well as a Samsung model. I've tried both my Nexus uh, cable and uh, the original cable that came with the RK3066, just to uh, just to see if potentially there there was an issue with power, not getting receiving enough power input or something of that nature. But so far, nothing that I've tried has really uh, alleviated the problem or remedied it any uh, any great extent so there you have it I hope this uh, video helps some at this point I'm kind of uh, at a loss without Wi-Fi kind of uh, without Wi-Fi it really kind of kills the functionality of the device so if you guys find out any way to remedy it uh, please let me know thanks